What's good, YouTube? It's your Kaylee Bomber. I'm back with another video. As you guys can see by the title, I'm gonna be doing a What's on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm doing this video because September. 14th i think is when the new phone drops and i'm gonna be have i'm gonna have the iphone 14 so i'm like while i still have the 12 let me just do a video so i'm going to be taking you guys you know on my phone period i don't let nobody in my phone okay i don't let nobody on my phone so the fact that y'all coming on my phone when i said that's a big that's a big step that's a big step. We are on a road to 11K, y'all. Let's keep this train pumping, you know what I'm saying? Let's get me to 11K. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And just join the family because I'm going to be dropping these bangers. Like I said, weekly videos coming to y'all. I'm not going to let y'all down. Make sure y'all drop these weekly videos. And I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done, 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 period, okay? So this is my 12 Pro Max. I love my case, y'all. It's so, like, cute. It's very like boyish, but it's also girly. Like, you know, it's cute or whatever. It's Supreme and I think this is the Gucci snake. I don't know. But Supreme, Gucci, whatever it is, comment down below, let me know. Y'all, I cracked my camera to my phone. Y'all, it still works good though. It works fine. But it's like, it's due for a new phone. It's due. So I'm gonna wait till the 14 comes out because I don't wanna get the 13 Pro Max and then boom, 14 come out. So I'm gonna wait till the 14 comes out and then I'm gonna get the 14. So let's get into it. I'm excited. I'm super excited. <laughs> So this is my home screen, you know what I'm saying? This is my home screen. All right, so now we in my phone. Okay, so this page here, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to get this off. So if y'all can help me get this off, that'll be great. Cause why do I even have the maps on here? Like, oh, maybe I could remove the widget. Boom, there we go. Okay, so now this is my phone. Don't mind that little maps thing I just had. I don't know why that's there. That's it been there, but it just don't bother me, so I left it there. But y'all see, I got my FaceTime in the corner. Got FaceTime a lot. I do. FaceTime. I got my calendar because you know I need to know the day of the week, and it's really important for me to know because I be having things to do, a lot of things to do. Then we have my photos, cameras right next to each other because once I take a picture, I usually go edit it, and that's in my photo gallery. You know what I'm saying? Then I have the clock, cause believe it or not, y'all, I can't wake up one time for nothing. So I need the clock on my main screen, like I need it. So it's right there on my main screen. Then I have some maps, cause I'm passenger princess and I'm always the, like, the road guide. Like I always gotta <laughs> keep the maps, you know what I'm saying? Handy dandy maps right there in my face, cause I always need it. I'm always going somewhere too. Then I have my notes, cause I write a lot of things down in my notes. Then I have my app store. Then I have my settings and I got my Snapchat. Boop. Hey, Snap. Snapchat. Come on, Snapchat a lot too. Make sure you guys go follow my Snapchat. Go subscribe to my Snapchat. We'll put it right here. Then I got Twitter. I don't use Twitter much, but I'm just now like starting to get on Twitter more. I got my Twitter. Then I have my Twitch. These are two apps that I do use often. So they are on my main page. I have my Twitch here. Then after that, I have my finance. So I have all the banks that I use, all of my like things where I pay my bills and stuff like that. Then I have YouTube, cause YouTube is so important to me. So I put it on my main page so I can easy access, have, so I have easy access to it. And then I put YouTube studio right next to it. Right now your girl is at, let's see. Yes, 10,089. Let me almost, you know what I'm saying? We we getting there. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. That'll be dope. Then I have my reminders because I do use my reminders a lot. Like I said, I be doing a lot of things and I forget what I got to do. So reminders just reminds me. Then I have TikTok, very important app. Then I have Alibaba, which is where I go look for like my merch that I want to sell and anything I want to sell on my website. Website coming soon. Y'all, little fun fact, I have my website up. I had it up and then nobody was purchasing so i wanted to like alter it and make it better than what it is so i took it down but it'll be back up really really soon then i have linktree up here because linktree is something i use on a daily to check my analytics from instagram and to see like you know where people come from where they click it from are they even clicking on anything so that's what i use for linktree for 
and I have Depop because I sell some items on Depop right now I only have a pair of dunks on there that I'm trying to get rid of and I, I'm trying to sell them so I have Depop up there then I have a motivation app and this motivation app is so awesome it just like gives you quotes daily maybe not even daily it gives you like every three hours every four hours a motivational quote that just you know what I'm saying it really touches you I love this app if you guys like quotes motivational quotes and things like that nature make sure you download this app because this app is so bomb right now this quote says the only thing standing between you and your goal is the bullshit story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it period I like that one right there I'm gonna love that then I have Uber Eats. Honestly, I don't know why I got that on here because I don't do Uber Eats. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know why I got that on here. Cause I think because I was trying like to order food and I just use DoorDash now, so I don't need that. Then I have Musi. Musi is like an app that I, I get some of my old school songs on because I like new school songs and I like old school and not all the old school songs are on SoundCloud. So I downloaded Musi because you could get all the songs that are on YouTube on Musi. Musi is a top notch app if you want to find songs that aren't on SoundCloud. Then I have my mail, which I do not check. I do not use this inbox mail on iCloud. I do not use that at all. I use Gmail. So I have 72,162 emails that I need to check, which I'm probably not going to, but maybe one day I'll get to it. Then I have the Nike app because I've been getting more into like athletic wear and stuff like that. So I've been ordering a lot of things off Nike. And on the second page, I have Stars app because I watch a lot of freaking movies, a lot of movies. And I know my phone's a little unorganized, but ain't nobody perfect. I know people coming up here like, I have this organized, that organized. No, I'm going to give it to y'all raw and uncut. I do not organize my phone. I put things where I need to, where I feel like they should be at, okay? Where whatever I use more often is going to be right in front of my face. But if I use less, it's going to be in the back of my phone. So I just started that because I do watch Power Book 3 and all the good shows, P Valley and stuff that be on stars. That's what I have that app for because I have to keep renewing my subscription then i have the sync app the sync app is for my led lights in my bedroom they are connected to alexa and alexa is connected to alexa app and also sync sync you have to like it's just it's confusing but i need that so i have that app on my phone then as y'all can see as my back my background screen is my baby legend he's so freaking cute ain't he got a little tongue out i had this screensaver for so freaking long y'all but it don't like bother me like i just i don't really care to keep changing and changing and changing like i'm not one of those i'm making my screen saver my screen saver for like five six months and then if i feel like changing it then i will but if not I'll keep it my next app that i have is doordash like i just told y'all i use doordash a lot like right now my car is in the shop so i have to use doordash to eat you know what i'm saying so i have doordash here on the second page because it's not really that important but it's important you feel me then i have the shoppers app because Sometimes I don't feel like going grocery shopping. I don't want people to come bring it to me. So I had that app on my phone too. Because I, I don't always like going outside. I don't always like going outside. So maybe that app comes in handy. Then on this next page. There's a lot of stuff on this next page. I have find my iPhone. I don't use that a lot. I don't lose my stuff a lot. I stay home. Then the productivity like little box thingy. We have shortcuts, contacts, files, Apple Watch. Apple TV, iTunes Store, and News Podcast at home. I barely use this box right here. I like, you probably never see me using that. Then I have Utilities. I don't know why this name Utilities. But the only thing I really use from here is Calculator. But I barely use that too because what am I calculating but money. So I barely use that too. And then I have the SoundCloud app, which I do use a lot. So I don't know why that's on this page. I don't know why this page is more so like blank and it's like. But this first page is most of the page that I use. Then... This box right here, which is the little drip emoji, has Farfetch, Goat, and Sheen. I love those three apps right there. Farfetch, I get a lot of like designer, Goat, get all my shoes, Sheen, get a lot of clothes. Then I have the Lyft app for when I want to go somewhere and I don't want to drive. Use my Lyft app. Then I have the weather up here because I'm always like checking the weather. Oh, I could also use Alexa. She tells me like what the weather is and stuff. But sometimes I don't feel like yelling and asking Alexa, so I just check my phone. Then I have Allstate, which is the insurance company I use for my car. Then I have Lexington Law because they're working on my credit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's human. I don't have perfect credit, okay? But I'm working on it, and I got Lexington Law to work on that for me. Then I have Apple Music, which I never freaking use. Apple Wallet, which I don't use neither. 
Xfinity, which is my cable company, so I have to pay my bill through there and stuff like that. Then I have Steve Madden because I really want to shop with Steve Madden, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. They have so many cute shoes. I don't know why I have the app when I have Steve Madden in the mall that's not too far from me. But I just have the app because sometimes I don't feel like going outside, like I told y'all, and malls be crowded, okay? Then I have Thumbtack, which I'm not sure what that is. I can't even tell y'all. Let's see. I'm not too sure what Thumbtack is. I'm not going to lie. Okay, it's for like when I need maintenance on my house, like if I need a TV putting up and stuff like that, I want thumbtack, which I don't use. So we are going to remove that. <laughs> then I have WhatsApp because WhatsApp is where I communicate to the vendors in China and stuff like that. I use WhatsApp for that. Then I have Wayfair because I get a lot of my furniture and stuff from Wayfair. I love Wayfair. I got my vanity set, my vanity set chair. I love Wayfair because it's affordable and it's like so freaking cute things on there. Then I have the Zeus app because your girl watched South Baddie Central, whatever it's called. And I have to keep renewing my subscription every month to keep watching it. And that's what I'm going to do because that's one of the best shows out right now. Period. Then I have Headway, which is a like book app where you can read books and stuff like that. I'm trying to get into more like reading and stuff like that. So I downloaded that, but I'm probably never going to use it. So you know what we're going to do? He said delete. A delete. Okay, then I had the FedEx app because I order a lot of things and I need to, y'all, I don't ever wake up in the morning. So the fact that I'm always like waking up late, I miss all my packages, all of them. And when I order like designer packages and stuff, they need your signature. So I can't be giving the signature if I'm asleep. So they bring it all the way back to FedEx and I'll be having to go inside the app and keep it at the FedEx location so I can go pick it up. So I like to keep the FedEx app on my phone. Then I have the Chick-fil-A app because your girl love Chick-fil-A, period. I had the Peter, bus, Peter Pan bus line on my phone because recently I needed it for um, one of my friends to get home. So I had, you know, downloaded that. Then I got Southwest because your girl's going on a trip. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. On my next page, I have the Roku remote on my phone. Yes, I do because I lost my remote to my TV. So I use my phone, a little ghetto, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, period. Then I have the Netflix app because I don't know why Netflix app I have on my TV. That's why my, I don't be having storage because I have a whole bunch of unnecessary apps on here. So we're just gonna get rid of that because I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't pay for that. Then I have this little shopping box that has Amazon, which I use all the time. Chewy, use all the time for my dog. Groupon, I use all the time to go do things for this cheap, for the low. Then I have Pinterest, which I also use all the time to get my captions and stuff like that. Then I have Pretty Little Thing, which I do like to go shop on there a lot too. And Fashion Nova, I use that a lot. So this little shopping box, I use all the apps there. This little numbers thing, I don't know what that is, came with the phone don't use it um then i have this business little section it has etsy shopify aol aol was an email brand that i use a lot etsy is also like where i get my ideas for my brand and my merch and things like that so i keep that on there and shopify is what i use to build my website the next thing i have is gmail i don't know why i have so many unread messages y'all but I have 24,801 unread messages. They're probably like just irrelevant. Because if I see something that really matters, I'm going to click on it. But those are probably like irrelevant messages. The next little block thing I have is photo and video. And it holds the eraser app, Pixar, and Fonto. Those are like the three apps I use to edit anything. Videos, pictures, everything. So the last thing. No, that's not the last thing. Oh my god. My phone is so unorganized. Do not judge me, y'all. Do not judge me. I'm a little bit unorganized, but I'm about to work on it. The next thing I have is Keynote, and I use that to edit my videos if I want to put words in it or whatever case may be. Then on my next page, I have this little box called Pages. Don't know what that is. Came with the phone. Next thing is Health. I know what that is. I have it on my Apple Watch, but I don't use it. Books. I didn't know we have books on here. Okay. Maybe I don't need that other app. Then I have stocks, which I don't use. Amazon Alexa, like I told y'all, I have my little Alexa ball that I use. And she has to be connected to an app, so that's why it's on there. AliExpress is for, like I said, merch, business, things like that. And on the last page, it is fitness and don't use that. Last thing I have is for my printer, my Canon printer. And I barely use that too. So this is just like a summary of all the apps that I have right here. 
and down here below like this little box thingy would take you down here is instagram that is one of the most used apps that's why i moved it and put it down there i forgot who was down there but i put instagram there because i use instagram all the freaking time calling regular phone calls obviously use it all the time safari i use all the time literally you'll see me on safari like every hour then messages which is also very important 905 messages go crazy i know a lot of people be having more but that's a lot for me so yeah i feel like that's basically that's all that's on my phone like my phone is pretty like simple like people you know what i'm saying other people have at least extravagant inside their phones and no uh, i don't have all that i have a regular basic phone with all the apps that i need and that's that period so i hope y'all like my basic phone like i hope my basic phone was like very interesting and i hope y'all enjoyed watching what was in my phone because i don't really got much but you know what i'm saying it's a phone so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this was interesting to you i hope you guys download some of the apps that i have Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see y'all in my next video. Make sure y'all don't forget to subscribe. We are on the road to 11K. And baby girl, we gonna hit that this year. No, this year, I guarantee you, we gonna be at like 100K. 100K, mark my words. But I love y'all so freaking much. And I hope to see y'all in my next video.